First is the story on the world map, which from now to uh, February of next year, we will be getting Restore of All for all the way to Restore of All 7. Restore of All 7 is when the story truly gets serious. We get a new title screen, we go to a new area, and we also get a new weapon type. So look forward to that. Master training from floor 10 to floor 12 is composed of the Ichirudo uh, NPC, the Bird King NPC, and on the 12th floor is you fight both of them at once. Elite training is what I call the Ray Boss Tower, which is where you fight the enemy in multiple teams. And the enemy has a lot of health, like 8 million HP I think. Each attempt, you have 15 turns to deal as much damage to the enemy as possible. And you beat the boss under using 3 teams or less, you will get the maximum amount of reward. So the goal for this tower is that try to beat the super hard boss using 3 different teams in time. Adjustment to daily and weekly task. This one means that I think this one is talking about how they changing the daily a bit. As in, they were moving two of the quests. They were moving the cell 5 and cell 10 materials. So in your daily routine now, you have one less action to do and the amount of rubies is still the same. It's just that after the adjustment, it should be a bit faster. Boss rematch is when you can fight the boss again, but there's also an option to fight them in the EX version. And an EX boss has a lot of health and a lot more stat to them. But you also get rubies as reward, fragment to exchange for, strong accessory, and also crystal to summon them in battle. And when I mean summon them, it's like summon them as an ally in battle. And as for the accessory, it's stuff like 30% damage up for fire, ice, lightning, wind, light, and dark, and other stuff. And lastly is the 1.5 anniversary. What you see on the world map is the sacred tree which is involved in something called Seed Story. And they are the story quests for the pet. Or rather, the official name is the Flame Beast. So they are the story for the Flame Beast which is our what we call pet. And also the Great Divine Beast. The two silhouettes you see are on the right is Avite the Clericate. She's the one in charge of explaining to the Traveler about the Divine Beast and Flame Beast. Kind of like how Reek uh, explained to the Traveler about the world game and how Kyun explained to the Traveler about the Drop Tower. The silhouette on the left is Ditorena, who is the Witch of Salvation and also currently right now in JP, the most strongest magic damage dealer right now in the game. But I doubt the Dorena is our anniversary unit though, because she showed up in the story and is the one that gives you the Manuscript of Salvation, which is an upgrade to the current memoir and also has a lot more feature in it. I will explain more about these features when the 1.5 anniversary arrive. Though there's two things that I didn't see on this roadmap though. One is that the Dragon Ball is kind of late for Ian already. The Dragon Ball is a fortune game board and should have been arrived when the triangle around the triangle collab start date. Not having the Dragon Ball is not like the worst thing ever. You just don't get a few hundred rubies and a few pulling seal and also um, some accessory. And also like the most optimal way to farm for medals but hopefully the Dragon Ball arrive into Ian one day. The second is that for JP, Hami, the 9th arena unit, shown up at the same time as the introduction of the pet system. But on this world map, uh, Hami is not here, so hopefully Hami is on next world map. And that's it for the world map, I think. So therefore, bye bye!